Hello friends, this is Ramesh Sharma here. So welcome back to the new series of Fully Word Web Tutorials. So in this series, we are going to create a simple CRUD operation with the login system using AppWrite and Next.js. So AppWrite is the alternative of Firebase, so which is a backend as a service which supports uh, creating a databases, documents, storage, as well as it also supports the authentication as it is in the Firebase. So we are going to create a whole CRUD operation with the login system from scratch with the help of TypeScript, Next.js, AppWrite and some other libraries such as React Ossify. So we are going to see how to create a reusable component and how to use the app router which is the new version of Next.js so that is Next.js 13 from scratch only. I will explain you every and each line of code in this whole series and even a beginner can understand this. So we are going to start with the overview which one is the this video and then project setup and after that we will be moving forward to create a login system UI and its functionality and then we will move forward to the CRUD operation. And you will get these videos continuously after one or two days. So now without wasting any time, let's see the overview of the application so that we are going to create without any delay. And let's start the first part. So that is the overview or you can say that it is a part zero of this whole series. So this one is the application so that we are going to create in this full series. So you can see that uh, this one is the home page of the application. So as you are not logged in, so you are seeing one navigation bar with login and register button. And this one simple heading is there. So that is Next.js plus app right crud. So now let's register the user. So let's register it. So this whole UI is created using Tailwind CSS. So you can log in from here as well. And let's first register the user. So let the username will be test one two three so test one two three and name should be test user second and let the email will be test at the rate example two dot com and after that we will be having the password so let the password anything and just simply click on register. So now you are registered successfully. So you have to log in it here. So it is the test at the example.com and here is the password and just click on the login. So when you will click on the login, so you are logged in now and you can see that here we have the contacts now in the home page and there one is a table which is not having any data so which is not having any data so this means that we haven't created any contact for now so you can see now instead of login and register we have this welcome message and then we have add contact button and log out button so let's first add the contact here so now we are at the route slash contact slash new so now this form is the reusable form, so which uh, the form that you are seeing in the login page, register page, add contact, edit contact, the form is same. So we are reusing that form to create this one so that we don't have to write the code again and again for the form. So that's why we will make it reusable. So let it be like test contact and example uh, email as test at the rate test.com and phone number like anything so it can be anything uh, that it be of 10 1 2 5 6 7 8 9 10 and age so age will be like 25 and simply click on add contact so now you can see that our contact is added successfully so you can delete this contact even you can add this contact so let's add one more contact so let it be test user 5 and 
test5 at the rate test.com and number anything so let's choose it from here and age let it be 50 simply click on add contact and you can see we have the test user 5 also here so now when you will select on the edit of anyone so you will be redirected to the edit page so now you can see that you are in the edit page here so you can see the contact so that is already here and it is contact and its id is there and then test user 5 so that one is the name of the user and add it so whenever i will change this like i am adding five more in the id and i will press enter so you will see some changes here so you will see that data is not found and then when i'm removing the five here so here you can see the added contact again so let it be test user 5 updated so when you will click on the update contact so contact will be updated successfully and now you can see test user 5 updated and in the series at the end we are also going to uh, make this application more smooth so that all the transitions should be there now i want to delete this contact so simply just click on delete button so you can see that our contact is deleted successfully so this one uh, we are going to create in this uh, whole series and we can make this even more good uh, we can extend this application more uh, in after completing this all stuff after this series so you will get also more tutorials on next.js app right and next.js with uh, node.js in the more upcoming series and we are going to work with webrtc as well so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in my section i will definitely respond to that at last thanks for watching